What is Christian mysticism? The practice of the presence of God, the life of prayer that results in intuitive knowledge and experience of God. The Bible contains more higher mysticism than any other book. Spiritual things are spiritually discerned. It is necessary to call upon God's Holy Spirit or active force to help guide us into the deep mysticism of the Bible. A mystic person who has intimate first-hand acquaintance with God, a man of prayer, Jesus was the greatest mystic of all ages. Mystics are the ones who hunger and thirst after righteousness, as the Bible puts it, the ones who yearn for continued or increased union with the other reality they themselves feel is the real reality the reality which heals and makes all things new again. The term is also descriptive of the slow and painful contemplation process of joining totally with or being in the transcendent state, a process which should not be confused with psychological development. The latter is a matter of self understanding self-acceptance and personal integration the former involves itself with self-forgetting the disappearance of the self into mysterious union with god the absolute the transcendent aspect of reality the pleroma thus the term self-transcendent means letting go of egotistical interests and worldly matters the mystic yearns for god's awareness and god awareness only the things that are added onto as a result of seeking god are no longer of importance to the mystical mind the path of the mystic can be experienced as painful because of the degree of selflessness that is required along the way but this path can also be the most glorious experience in the spiritual development of the soul if the disciple thoroughly understands the process of transformation that is taking place prayer is the foundation and daily bread upon which this stage of enlightenment depends without it the process is indeed a difficult one Mysticism has always been a part of Christian tradition. Christian mystics achieved awareness of oneself through the teachings and rituals from the scriptures. They came to know God because the church told them to do so. However, the early Christian mystics, known as the Gnostics, looked beyond reason and found intuition to be the reliable path to know oneself. So mysticism, as practiced by Gnostics is a direct perception of the reality of God, free of any church teaching or sacrament. Gnostic Christianity has a name for this direct perception of God, self-knowledge, self-nos, and that is why Christian mystics are known as Gnostics. Gnostic Christianity teaches that we also can have an awareness of our real self just as Jesus did. Gnostic Christianity Jesus is often referred to as the way shower, he who shows the way. Gnostic Christianity teaches that it is fundamentally an opening of the heart accompanied by a sense of oneness with God and all creation, a sense of gratitude and joy for all things that flow into one's life and a willingness to manifest that which God wants to express through one's life. The Gospel of Thomas saying 77 Jesus said it is I who am the light that presides over all. I am the all and the all has gone out from me and the all has come back to me. Split a piece of wood and I am there. Lift a stone and you will find me there.